Video editors use speed changes to create artistic effects that build suspense, convey the passage of time, and so much more. PowerDirector has multiple tools to change the speed of your videos and step up your editing game. So today, I'm going to show you four ways to speed up and slow down your videos in PowerDirector 365. Time waits for no man. So let's get into it. We'll start off changing the uniform speed. This changes the speed of the clip throughout the duration of the video. So here's the original speed of the video. And to get to this tool, what we're going to do is left click on the clip. We're going to go to the speed icon in the toolbar. And then we're going to make sure that we're under uniform speed. Now, if we move this slider to the right, everything's going to move faster and it makes the video clip look shorter. If we move it to the left, everything is going to go slower and the video clip will be longer. So if we play it now, we'll see the new speed of the video clip. That went from rugged to leisurely in about a heartbeat. Next, we'll apply a speed preset. This simplifies the ability to add popular speed effects to your videos. Let's go ahead and see the original speed of this clip. So we're going to left click on the clip. We're going to go to the speed icon. And this time we're going to click on speed presets. Now you can create a custom preset or you can select from the available presets that you see on the screen. I'm going to go ahead and left click on hero. Now you can leave it like this, but what we're going to do in this example is we're going to make a few adjustments. So you can go ahead and drag any of these keyframes or adjustment points to where you want them. So I'm going to left click on this one and drag it to the left. And then I'll go to this one. Hold down my left mouse and I'll drag this one to the right. And you can also add a freeze frame on the clip if you want to. You can go ahead and place your cursor over the playhead and move it to where you want the freeze frame to be. And then you can left click on this freeze frame icon. You choose the time that you want the freeze frame to be. We'll do three seconds here. And hit enter. And we'll left click on apply. And then we can go ahead and play this back. She doing a dang thing out there, ain't she? I'm going to share two more ways to change speeds. But before you try to rush me on to the next one, I need you to click the like button, subscribe to Power Director University, and click the bell so you don't miss out on any of my tutorials and live streams. Now it's time to use the Action Camera Center. This tool has a lot of great features for action videos, but today we're going to focus on the speed feature. So let's go ahead and see the speed of this clip. Now to get to the action camera center, you want to left click on the clip. You want to left click on edit. You want to make sure that you're under the video tab and under the tools tab, you will see the action camera center. So you want to left click on that. Here you want to click on the effect tab. And you want to left click on create time shift. You want to move the right section of the bounty box over wherever you want the time shift to stop. And then you want to place the left section of the bounty box over wherever you want the speed effect to start or the time shift to start. Now you want to go to speed. And you want to click on apply speed effect. Then you can use the duration or the speed to go ahead and change the speed that you want. And you can choose to ease in and ease out of the effect as well. And you click on OK. And we can play it back and see what it looks like. Sometimes you just need to slow down and enjoy the ride. Next, we'll change the speed using the timeline. This also changes the speed of the duration of the video clip. 
You know I got to show you the original speed, so let me just go ahead on and do it. So we're going to left click on the clip. You want to place your cursor at the end of the clip. Hold down your control key till you see the little arrow and the clock. And then if you go ahead and drag your clip to the left, it's going to speed things up. You want to let go of your mouse and let go of the control key. You can play it now and see it's going a lot faster. And if you want to slow it down, you want to move it out to the right. So place your cursor at the end, hold down your control key until you see the little arrows and the clock. Hold down your left mouse button and drag it out to where you want it to be. And you can play it back. Slow motion for me. Slow motion for me. If you want to make video editing easier, check out this tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and purchase PowerDirector using the links in the video description to help the channel stay alive.